the academics has got to be the cornerstone um, on which your future is laid. And the focus that uh, Monmouth is putting on that is what will lead us to the next step and to the next level of, of greatness. I think every project I've been involved in, a group of faculty have said, what, how do we want to teach? What might we change about our teaching style to make us better? Because those faculty members are making decisions, along with the architects, that will lock in teaching styles for 50 years into the future. Perhaps the, the most enjoyable part of the initial conversation when faculty say, what, what do we want out of that facility? Business people need to be aware of new developments in the sciences because sooner or later they may eventually affect their own businesses. So as we thought about it, more and more the idea of combining and integrating those two fields of study into the same building made sense to us, an intersection, so to speak, of science and business. Those people who are able to successfully combine engineering and business and science and business are those who really can be in leadership positions because knowing one or the other is very important, but knowing both is uh, a tremendous asset. Who first had the idea that there ought to be a great room where students from all disciplines can mingle? Who, who thought about the importance of having a balcony so that people could look down in the great room? Who was the first to think about the way to organize the laboratories? Who thought about the breakout rooms for the business section first? If I think about it, a lot of people put their best ideas into this building. We'd gotten a very nice gift from Dave and Libby Burns to kind of get things rolling, and it was a case that we just needed to move forward, and I came up with the idea that my wife and I, we would start off with a million dollar gift and then make a, a challenge gift for every additional dollar raised, we would add 50 cents up to $4 million. But I felt that, that this was the push that we needed to get shovels in the ground and construction started. There was uh, this excitement kind of of being a freshman again and walking into a nice building for the first time and seeing everything and it's all new. Our students are thrilled. They see this facility as as modern, as cutting edge, as a place where they can mingle, they can sit, they can discuss in the breakout rooms where we as a faculty can interact with our students and it brings us closer. We talk about our one-on-one, -on -one, our closeness of our faculty and students. This facility is designed to really enhance that and, and illustrate it in a, a very positive way. The student labs are just beautiful. We have snorkels, which are gonna come from the ceiling above the lab benches, which will increase safety, so we could expose the fumes, and we don't have to use as many fume hoods, which require a lot of electricity and energy. What's really nice about um, the classrooms, and you know, the accounting classroom in particular, is the flexibility. You could be lecturing for a little bit and say, hey, I wanna hone in on this principle and do something hands-on. Tables move, chairs move, people move in moments. This is going to be a great addition to our campus. It's going to be very important in terms of going forward, attracting new students and retaining our existing base of students. <laughs>